So here we're asked to consider a series of vectors a, b, c and d and what we're asked to do is sketch a vector r which is equal to b minus c plus 2d and then solve for that um, vector r. So what I might start by doing is drawing out what each of these vectors that we're going to use, b, c and d, actually look like. We can see that they're 2d so they're pretty easy to draw on paper. So let's start with vector b. So we can see that it is negative 1i plus 2j. So that means it's got a negative x component and a positive y component. So it's probably going to look something like this. So that's my vector b. The next one is c, so 3i minus 1j. So it's going in the positive x direction and then down a little bit in the uh, y direction. So let's guess it looks like this. So that's my vector c. The last one is vector d, so 2i plus 2j, so it's got a positive x and positive y, which means it should look something like this. So that's my d. Alright, so it's asking us to sketch this um, addition. So let's start off with b. We can just pop that one straight in. Alright, now what we want to do is take away c. So what happens then is that this is positive C. If we have the negative C, it's just in the opposite direction, but um, same length um, otherwise. So that means it's going to go maybe something like this. We'll call that C. And then we have two Ds that we need to add on. So this is one positive D. We need two of them. So D, D. All right, so it's just a sketch. It's not completely accurate. But what we can do then is join on from the very beginning to where all the um, additions end up at the very end. That is going to be the vector r, okay, because that's all of them added together. So now what it wants us to do is solve for what r actually is. So we can do that just by substituting into this expression. So b was equal to this. Let's pop it in. C was this, and then plus 2D, so 2 times 2I plus 2J. All right, so it's going to be worth us expanding out uh, these brackets. So the first one's easy. The next one we've got a negative, so it's negative 3I, and then we've got a double negative here, so plus 1J. And then we're going to get 4i plus 4j. So now we need to just condense together the i and the j components. So for the i's we've got um, negative 1 minus 3, so that takes us to negative 4. And then we've got plus 4, so that takes us back to 0. So in fact all of these i components are going to cancel out with each other. So we're going to be left with 0. And then for the j's we have 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 4, that's going to take us to 7. So essentially our answer here is going to be just positive 7j. And if we look at our sketch, that's what we've pretty much got. Okay, so technically this should be a vertical line, perfectly vertical. Alright, it's got a length of 7, oop, and it's in the positive um, y direction, which is what we've got in here. So that all looks good, and that means that my final answer will be this sketch and this answer for the resultant R. So that's all there is for this video.